Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use hack app data to cheat in your favorite Android games. This is a great game cheating tool that allows you to modify temporary app data as the name implies in Android allowing you to get money cheats and other powerful game hacks in many many Android games. So before you get started you need to download the app. The links as always are going to be down in the description below. Make sure to download from a legitimate download source as there are many fake websites peddling malware that is disguised as this app. So links is always in the description. Leave a like, subscribe for more game cheating content and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, once you've installed hack app data, make sure to enable unknown sources in your security settings to install the app properly. You're gonna need a game that you wanna cheat in. So in this case, we're gonna try and cheat in Crossy Road. This is the first time I'm starting up the app. You're going to need to start up the app for the first time in order to create the temporary app data that the tool needs in order to actually cheat in the game. Um, just get into the game and the data will be created and can then be modified. As you can see, we have at the moment zero monies in this game. It's literally the first time we're starting it up, but we're already closing it down again. We go into hack app data, we go to user apps and we choose the game that we're trying to cheat in. Now here you have the choice between modding temporary save files, databases, or even the files, the temporary files themselves, including JS files and so on. Now, this is the hard part. You're gonna have to find the data files that house your save game. This is gonna be rough. There's gonna be stuff like uh, user or data or save or stuff like that. Uh, just anything that would give you an indication that it houses vital player data. In this case, it's under preference, the temporary files um, that are in our cache, and it's going to be play, playerprefs.xml. Uh, it's, usually it's XML files or JS files that you can simply modify and get cheats working. So in this case, V2 player prefs is the player preferences or the safe state of the game. We're just gonna open that up. As you can see, we have here device coins uh at the moment we have zero coins that's correct so we're just gonna change that to how about nine 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 safe and this needs root access of course unless you are using a virtualization app link in description as well leave a like subscribe and all that jazz now as you can see the number has been changed to nine 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 and now what we need to do is just simply uh close down hack app data and get back into our game. Make sure to follow these steps exactly the way I'm showing you guys, else this might not work properly for you, as how you do these things chronologically does play a great role. As you can see, 999, whatever, 999 million. There we go. It absolutely worked. It worked great. It worked on the first try. That's what you can expect in many offline games. However, looking for the data while it is easier than using memory editors, for example, to scan the game memory and you have an actual visual interface to scan through the data that you want to modify. It is still a lot of work. It's not as complicated as creating your own cheats using other tools, but it is a long process. As you can see, there are many files you can check and most of them are not going to be containing any data that you are looking for. It's a question of patience and it's also a question of experience and over time you will learn to identify the database files and the XML and JS files that you're looking to modify in order to cheat successfully. Anyways guys, that is how to use hack app data for Android to cheat in your favorite Android games. Again, links as always in description. This is only gonna work on offline games. For online games, of course, we recommend using HackerBot by simply Googling HackerBot or Game Hacks 
going to hackerbad.net, which is a great tool. They also have an APK that you can find in the link in description as well. It's called Hackerbot APK that allows you to access the tool even easier. It's a great tool that will scan the internet for legitimate cheats only on legitimate cheating websites that are providing actual working cheats. So if, for example, we enter free fire APK mod, we will find legitimate downloads for APK mods for free fire, for example. Now, if you're looking for these things on Google, you will find mostly scams and spam and human verification generators and other weird stuff that's not gonna work. APK files you will download, they will do nothing, they will be a vanilla version of the game, or even worse, it might be malware. So yeah, you're gonna get scammed if you're using Google. Use hackerbot.net, use hackerbot APK, links in description below for online games. In offline games, you can actually cheat your money, but in, off, in online games, it's gonna be harder due to server-side processing. More about that at hackerbot.net in their wiki. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Again, links in description, like the video, comment for the algorithm, or if you have any questions, and subscribe for more game cheating and hacking content. See you guys next time.